So, I was supposed to meet Desi's cousin at his house at 11, and I'm here. I don't even know. It's after 11. I've texted him to let him know, hey, I'm here before. Just say I'm on my way. I love you, Brett, if you ever watch this, but I knew you would be late. I told Desi last night. He said he'll be here at 11. Maybe I'll show up at 3, just as a joke. So I've been sitting here for a while. I was able to organize some more things in the binder. Oh, my hands hurt. That I got yesterday. I don't want to go in the house and wake them up because Devin does work third shift. I think he gets them at like 7 in the morning. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to run up to the shopping center around the corner. It's a really cute little shopping center. Um, I'll put it in the vlog if I remember. It's like it was an old mall or something and they've kind of like chopped it up and now you can they kept like stores and then you can drive through the area I don't know it's easier to show you so I'm gonna do that got my voice I'm so tired my body is so tired so I'm gonna go up there and see if I can get donations and I've had a couple of ideas people have sent me to stop at certain other shops so that's what I'm gonna do until mr. Brett calls and tells me he's at the house so until then I'm just gonna turn the camera off So I'm a bit aggravated. It's 12 o'clock. I was asked to be here at 11. I was here at 10.45. I'm always trying to be early. And I've texted Brett and no response. And I text him again telling him I'm gonna go run a few errands to call me when he gets here, not when he's on his way, when he's here, and I'll come back. But that if I don't hear from him by one, I'm going home. Like I don't mind helping, but at least be on time, please. God, I feel like all I do is complain in these vlogs, and I'm really not a complaining person, but I'm just been a bit aggravated, you know? So, public service announcement. If you tell somebody you need their help, be there when you tell them to be there. So, I'm gonna run to a few little businesses around here, and then I did call the food bank. They're gonna give me two different food banks. They're gonna give me a box of food. And not that they don't have food, but just something to help. And then I did make another phone call. So I'm finally going to pull out of this driveway. As you see, the train's still there. And um, now I'm headed to the shopping center. Bye. All right. Oh, my God. I look like I could be a member of KISS. Look at this makeup. It is so hot. I'm at Desi sitting on the porch. There's no trains. We have done some more cleaning. Now we're going through cabinets and trying to see what dishes they actually need to keep and what dishes they can donate, sell, or throw away. And then we're gonna go through the cabinets, like, ooh, that music. Then we're gonna go through the food cabinets and organize and throw away stuff that is expired. The same with the fridge. They have two fridges, I don't know why. So I'm out here, I'm fixing to get on the phone and make a few phone calls. But just wanted to check in because I feel like when I'm here doing things like this that I really don't feel comfortable filming inside the house. So, we'll see in the next clip what I do next. Bye. Hello, I'm back. Actually, I'm not back at their house. I um, can't tell. I'm at Jimmy John's. This place I used to work at used to order this for us like every single day and it's like some South Beach sandwich. I don't know, my hair's falling down. It has like turkey and ham and salami. It's like a big old club sandwich. Oh girl, that is just, mm, nope. As people used to say when I was little, that's a nappy headed cockroach. Okay, anyhow, so I just got a sandwich and I cannot tell you how excited I am to eat this. I haven't had this in like six freaking years. It's got like bean sprouts, anyhow. And then I have all my freaking Cokes. I got a Coke down here in the door. I got two Cokes right here. This one's just new and then this one's, I just got, and I tell people I'm addicted to Coke. I don't mean cocaine, I mean like Coca-Cola. Like I have to have it, it's like all I drink, which I know is bad for my stomach, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to head back there and eat. I've made a bunch of emails. Louisville Slugger Museum is going to do something, if I can talk. Um, Slugger Field, Build-A-Bear, Comedy Caravan, which is a local, just like little comedy shop. Um, 
Jimmy John said they will, but everybody needs like an official letter. That's fine. I don't have official letterhead, so hopefully this will do that it's private. Um, my girlfriend, Kat, owns a place called Pino's Palette. I'm going to go there in a bit, so hopefully in the vlog you'll see that. And I'm going to make like a little, like the Kelly Day intro video trailer. I'm going to make one of those for her. But she's going to donate a date night um, for painting. And that's usually anywhere from $25 to $45 a painting. So she's going to give two. Um, pretty much will be a, a coupon for that place or a gift certificate for that place. But they can use it for whatever. It just does not cover alcohol. Um, so if somebody decides they just want two days of painting for themselves or they want a date night or she also does mommy and me classes Which is cute. They give you like one foot by one foot Canvas and then you go in there and you paint with your child. So if it's like a summer thing, you know, you'll draw half the beach with a Beach ball and then they'll draw the other half of the beach with the umbrella. So thank you cat. You are awesome and a few more places I haven't passed the things out which I was gonna do this morning but I went over to Chrissy's mom so that she could print those papers out. That saved me like three bucks. And we've just been organizing. Mama came over their house and man, she was in a cleaning mode. She took everything out of every single cabinet, bleached it out, which now makes me want to go and do the same thing. She threw away spices that were old, like Tylenol. I think we found a Tylenol bottle or Cedra bottle from like 2015, but I think we've all done that. Or no, it was 2010. Oh my jaw. So I'm gonna go eat, finish the emails. Like I said, I don't know if I told you guys, Joe overslept this morning, so he didn't go to work. He's really upset with himself. He could have gone in, but he's like, yeah, f it, you know, just stay home. Which means he's gonna be home for another three days. Which means he was home for three days, two days, that's five, another three, eight days in a row. And usually by like that third day, I'm like, go. Um, I've also, because for some reason I thought today was Friday, it's now 628 and I've totally missed DSL living and learning class and I feel horrible. I'm really slacking on my DSL duties, but I feel like this is more pressing. They have people to help them there and Desi doesn't have, and he has a lot of people, but they all work and since I don't work, I can be there anytime. So now that I've rambled, this thing is three and a half minutes long. Actually, it's three minutes and 50 seconds. So in this clip, if it winds up being a minute, you'll know how long I actually talk because I'm always curious how long youtubers talk and how much is edited out anyhow i'm gonna shut up now and head to desi's see you in the next clip